Bitcoin halving refers to an event when the pace at which new units of Bitcoin entering circulation is cut in half. It's part of an overall strategy to keep the maximum supply of Bitcoin fixed, in contrast with fiat currencies like the US or Australian dollar, which have essentially unlimited supplies and lose value when governments print too much of it. To understand how Bitcoin halving works, let's quickly talk about the basics of how the cryptocurrency is created. Bitcoins come into existence by way of a decentralized system in which people known as miners use high powered computer systems to solve cryptographic puzzles in order to verify and validate transactions on the Bitcoin ledger known as the blockchain. In return, they receive payment in the form of newly created Bitcoins. Bitcoin mining is a competition of sorts. Miners are essentially racing to be the first to add new blocks to the blockchain. For each block added, they receive a certain number of new Bitcoins as a reward. The originator of the Bitcoin programmed the block reward to be cut in half at regular intervals. The reward for mining a block is reduced by half for every 210,000 blocks added. It currently takes about four years to add that many blocks. So Bitcoin halving has been occurring at approximately four year intervals. The latest and third halving took place in May 2020. The next is expected in 2024. Once 21 million Bitcoins have been created, no more will be produced. With the halvings resulting in decreased mining rewards, creating new Bitcoins becomes an increasingly expensive proposition. As time goes on, each coin becomes more and more valuable. This contrasts with currencies like US dollar, which invariably lose their purchasing power over time. Whether Bitcoin truly is deflationary asset remains up for debate. Instead, Bitcoin's value is more linked to the economy where it connects to the real world, such as the cost of electricity required to mine the blocks and the willingness of people to pay for the Bitcoins that are rewards for that work. Another theory for the rationale behind Bitcoin halving is that the cryptocurrency's creator wanted to have a larger proportion of coins being generated early on to entice people to join the network as miners. Historical data shows a correlation between Bitcoin halving and increases in price of Bitcoin. Of course, price is affected not just by halvings, but by a whole bunch of factors. Here's an overview of what happened around the first three halving events. At the time of the first halving, which was November 2012, the price of Bitcoin stood at about US $11, and that converts to about 15 Australian dollars. Within a year, it rose 100x. In July 2016, the Bitcoin network arrived at the milestone of 420,000 blocks, which triggered the second halving. The price of Bitcoin fluctuated between US $500 and US $1,000 for a few months, and ultimately rose to around 20,000 US dollars by December 2017. The third halving happened in May 2020, coinciding with another bull run for Bitcoin. At the time of this halving, Bitcoin traded at around $9,000 US. It climbed to around 30,000 US dollars by the end of the year. As for the deflationary aspect of Bitcoin, we can look at the history for context. If the trend of higher highs and higher lows after a halving continues, the future price of Bitcoin should likewise continue to serve as an inflationary hedge against other representations of value that can be arbitrarily inflated. Since Bitcoin halving is a major event, it has a major effect on various parties involved in Bitcoin's network. Here's a brief description of how Bitcoin halving affects major stakeholders and talking points in Bitcoin's network. Firstly, investors. Halving generally results in increased prices for the cryptocurrency due to reduced supply and surging demand, meaning that it's usually good news for investors. Trading activities on the cryptocurrency blockchain increases in anticipation of the halving. However, the pace of price increases does differ based on the logistics and conditions of each price halving. Next is the miners. The effect of mining on Bitcoin's ecosystem is a bit complicated, on one hand, a diminishing Bitcoin supply increases demand and prices, but fewer rewards can also make it difficult for individual miners or small mining outfits to survive in Bitcoin's ecosystem 
because they may find it difficult to compete with the larger mining organizations. According to research, Bitcoin's mining capacity is counter-cyclical to its price. This means when the cryptocurrency's price increases, the number of miners in its ecosystem decreases and vice versa. The last halving is predicted to occur in the year 2140, after which block rewards will not be in the form of Bitcoin. Instead, miners will be rewarded with fees from the network users, the people who buy and sell Bitcoin, so that they are incentivized to continue processing transactions on the blockchain. Most investors believe the value of Bitcoin will increase and it may achieve better growth between now and its fourth halving event in 2024. This is based on its track record over the years and with the results from the first three halving events. Each of those times, there were massive surges in the price of Bitcoin. As already mentioned, the first halving in 2012 saw an increase in the price of Bitcoin from $11 to about $1,150 within a year. The second halving in 2016 saw a Bitcoin price to almost $20,000, which eventually dropped to $3,200. There is no precise date for when the reward for mining a block will be cut in half. It depends on when the 210,000th block since the last event is mined. Considering that new Bitcoins are mined roughly every 10 minutes, again, the next halving is expected to happen sometime in early 2024, and the miner's reward will drop to 3.125 Bitcoin at that point. Bitcoin investors or traders should keep in mind that a halving often comes with a sizable amount of instability and turmoil for this cryptocurrency. Of course, no one can say exactly what's going to happen after the next halving and the weeks and months that follow, even though halving events have historically caused significant fluctuations in the price.